you know as we did the video for jasper on his b20 vtec on the ef the car was probably saying hey what about me so now let's talk about how jasper restored it from this how he looked when he got it and how he checked all the single detail dismantled everything of course left no stone unturned checked all scraped it to metal you know and then primer and got it to the paint and to how it looks to the final state and because we all like onboard run so much we got another one for you and this is going to be so good you see the shifting and all that and also because we try to improve whatever we show you here an onboard dual screen run of course that's going to be so fun right and after the race we will also show you this a proof that it's a street car beyond any doubt it's gassing up at the local pump right it's a street car nice so if car restorations is your thing in performance and as well as racing remember we said jasper sold his wheels right and we'll show you later what he's gonna run <laughs> First things first, Jasper acquired this sometime around 2014 from a place down south, actually in Cavite, and we are in Antipolo, so imagine how far that is, right? And thanks to Virai Towing Services, because that's what Jasper did or used to get the car home. And we've been using Virai Towing Services for almost a decade now. They're actually reliable and on point when it comes to helping you tow the car or move your car. So this is what he did first. Disassemble all the bits and pieces just to see if the car is actually straight. And hey, you can see it's actually straight. No collision history, nothing. So this is what made Jasper decide to actually restore this all the way. And here you can see the dashboard. And once he has got it, it completely like the usual car guy he had to try his nk rpf1 wheels an original of course like we always do we always test fit the wheels that we want to use right looks good and so after gutting it completely here's how it stands it's resting on jack stands ready for the next step it actually looks like it's gonna be a fun project right and it is and here you can see the engine bay is completely gutted and here is his ef9 gauge cluster it's gonna be nice and so before the paint job starts he had the roll cage made and installed on the ef hatch before priming and all the paint work gets to start i can visualize it it's starting to go look good next up is this test fitting his ef9 fender hood headlights and even the bumper spacer the one that goes in between the bumper and the hood it looks good it's starting to take shape and oh man now we know what it's gonna turn out to right okay now here's the next procedure test fit and check the ef9 bumper with the rest of the car oh man it looks really good right i mean we all know an ef9 front end just looks quite smooth in a sense that you know the presence is just different it's really good as anyone that's, that has restored a car we know when you do this it's for a long term so here it's scraped all the way to bare metal this way you can primer it and get the finish from the base all the way to the top coat really really good right yeah 
and here it is, primered up, and look at all the detail. It's scraped to metal everywhere, even the fender well. This way, when you primer it, it's going to be sealed really good. That's the primer stage, and then the base coat. It's starting to look really good, right? And here you can see it's actually going to be clean because there won't be any rust or any rust spots spreading out after the years pass. So this is fully restored in every sense that you can imagine. Here you can see the color is laid out really good. And on the inside, yeah, it looks really, really good. Here's the other shot all the way to the back. It's been good. Here's the curing stage. This is painted by Bong's former painter. Jasper managed to hire him to paint his car and the reason why i mentioned that is because we learned a lot from bong this is why he won several manila international auto show events because of something that i'll explain in a little bit and you will see it matters not just now but on to the finished product without proper base prep or base preparation that means you have to primer it in certain way and then use excessive putty or in our language masilia sure it, at the on the surface it seems fine but it becomes harder to get it smooth and it's called alon in english wave it just gives a sense of wave on the depth of the shine or of the, on the paint job and i'll show you just in a little bit here's a picture that i've seen that shows what i'm talking about on a shiny repaint job look at this you can see the hood even the fender the reflection is not that crisp look it's kind of blurry right that's what Bong calls alon. That's like a wave, right? It may be shiny, but it's not smooth. And here's another one. Look at the gap. I mean, the, the joining form or area between the door and the body. Look, that reflection is not aligned. It's, a, it's, it's like it's kind of off, right? That happens when the base is not good. And here's another one. Look at the reflection the roof or the shade is supposed to be straight but that what is that right that's why bong calls it alon and this starts from the beginning of the primer so you gotta prep it really really well i'm not an expert painter i don't even know how to paint a car but i learned all of this from bong hilario owner on of h3 auto works and the reason why i share this to you guys is that so that when you guys see a picture or shiny cars online or in facebook try to look at a certain angle you might find if it's good or not that good of a paint job it's just maybe just shiny you know but there are shops here locally that does an excellent excellent job and it's fun, you know, it's fun to observe such details like that. So when you see it online, hope that you can see it in person and check all the different angles. This way, you'll know if it's if it was a good job or not. Hey, if you're buying a car, check it that way too, right? Now, sorry about that. Let's go back to Jasper's EF. Here it is, finished, but still curing, you know. We gotta wait. You cannot rush paint. You know, it has to cure properly. Here, it's starting to get the shine, right? And remember, we talked about Alon or the wave. Look at that. And I'll show you even more pictures later on the reflection. But here, you can actually see it. It's going really well. I mean, the finish. And here, the EF9 bumper. Oh, man, it looks really good, right? Here, yeah. Man, this I would drive any day, anywhere. And of course, as usual, Jasper tested out his NK RPF1s. I must admit, it looks really good because it looks classy yet sporty. And here, a legitimate 3M rubberized undercoat because he does plan to drive this on the road. 
So, hey, you got to restore it properly. And his Ricaro seats, he's test fitting it. Oh, man, it actually looks really good, right? The paint is curing properly and really good. Look at the reflection, right? Really, really nice. Now, something I want to show you guys. This is the before when it was gutting the EF hatch. And that's the engine bay. You can see all the stuff. Oh, it's kind of messy and dirty the driver's side you can see it right and as it looks now brand new brake lines look at the firewall look at inside so it's kind of tucked on some lines and the bc coilover skunk to camber and then the brake lines look and full race traction bar or an og full race oh this is nice so as Jasper restored the EF, we were actually building his B20 VTEC. So when it was finished, he paid a premium to have my colleague go over to his house for the service and install the engine with him. There they are. Oh yeah. And as you guys noticed, Jasper actually restored his EF at home. So that's not a bad job, right? So before we show you the onboard runs, let us talk about the Alon or the Wave. And now we can show you what we we're talking about earlier. And if you remember the examples, right? Look at that SRD Motorsport sticker. Yeah. Now look at that. You can actually read the reflection in reverse, right? That's no Alon. That's how you can see it's a good paint job. And you can see it here, the Clark International Speedway. Look at the reflection. And on the thumbnail that we used before, look, it's actually straight. Again, in BRC, you can see the reflection. It's, it's actually straight. I mean, no wave, right? Look. Now onto the onboard run. And I'm sure you guys would notice we used part of this to our intro. All right. Notice the shifting. It's slow or not that fast. So you know, or at least I know, if I drove that and shifted faster, it would have been way faster than 12.5. I'm sure you could have done better too, right? But hey, he's taking care of his transmission. Now here is the other onboard run that we were gonna show you, who mentioned earlier. sounds real good and it sounds real healthy and here next is we're gonna show you Jasper took a video of him pumping at the gas station you know now would you look at that it actually looks really really cool right I mean you know a street car you see it down the road it looks really nice yep Pumping Petron Blaze. Yes, sir. That's a true street car. Of course, SRD Motorsport sticker and ECU Later's sticker. Speed Factory, Edmel, and Clyware, of course. Look how shiny that is. It doesn't even look like you race it, you know. It looks like you just park it and take care of it, but. It runs 12.5. And remember we talk about the wheels. Jasper sold his track lights and replaced it with this. Look. Spinworks. Oh man. I must admit, this kind of looks way, way better on an EF 
than this. The track lights actually look really good, no doubt. I mean, hey, I like Rota Grids and TA37, so this looks good. But look at this now. Oh man, now it looks way more classy, yet way more strong. It looks tough, right? So in the next few races in the future, we will definitely get you guys some really, really good content. And if you want to know more about Jasper's engine, the B20 VTEC, you can click here.